to other people. We've always known that, you know, we're all together, but we needed to lay the foundation. After the foundation, now we can move on and we have a spread now uh, to touch other lives and to unite with other Christian uh, Christians in the body and together reach out to uh, people and show the love of God in a more universal way. Daddy, you're welcome to you, Lazar. God bless you. Thank you. My name you. is Ojama Yusuf, and I'm with TBC, sir. Okay. So I want to ask this question most profoundly, sir. Mm. Um, the impact of this crusade, because I've been following the crusade all around, what's the impact of the crusade, your target on the people, sir, generally? Uh, it's uh, very difficult to measure the immeasurable. And it's uh, difficult to know the people, all the people all over the world. We're talking of, you know, the, uh, the West and the Africans and the Asians and everywhere. Their lives are being impacted. Lives are being transformed. The people did not, that did not have any focus uh, to live and they were just living from day to day as if, uh, you know, tomorrow I'll die. So what's the big deal? Let me live my life. But now they have focus. They know why they are here on earth, and they have the grace of God and the strength of the Lord to move them on. There are people that have uh, almost given up life, not voluntarily, but because of sickness, oppression, and you know what was on them. And the Lord turned their lives around. Think of uh, somebody having terminal cancer, and the Lord healed them. Think of people that were completely deranged, mad, and insane. And the Lord recovered them and now brought them to life and they have now something to live for. Think of people that uh, their lives were just wasted. The past was nothing to be written about, but uh, now they had a change, a transformation. And they say, wait a minute, I can still make something. And they're redeeming their time. The things they should have done many years before, now they are waking up and they are making gentlemen of themselves and ladies of themselves and things are going well, uh, we can multiply that. Of course, you understand that uh, there are people who have been raised from the dead and doctors have confirmed that this fellow died and after the prayer, they came back to life. There were uh, children unborn that were dead in the womb and the doctor confirmed that this one was dead for hours and uh, you know came back to life they had those who have been in coma for four days or more than four days and with prayer they came back to life they're now well and their families are happy um, a lot is happening uh, with the with the crusades that we're having and this cuts across many people you think of people who were not even uh, deliberately going to the crusade, but they heard either over their radio or television or their social media. It's like accidentally, they just hooked into that and long standing problems were taken away. A lot of things that have happened, I was still expecting a lot because if one person can get it, everyone can get it. Welcome to Blue Black Game. Thank you. I'll, I'll take this question because I know most Nigerians who want to hear this. Okay. 2023 is just around the corner. What is your call for Nigerians, particularly as the election goes? Well, thank you very much. Um, a country with peace and progress and unity and security is the best place to live. And um, leaders matter a lot because leaders uh, dictate the direction that will go. And so uh, thank God for democracy, that God himself, uh, through our whole system, has given us the chance to determine the leader that leads us and rules us. And so I will say that uh, all the citizens of our country should wake up. And those who are eligible to vote by age, uh, they should uh, look at all the leaders that are coming up and then we use our understanding, our background knowledge, and what we know of the people. We're not voting because of sentiment. We're not voting because of religion. We're not voting because of you know our kind of mindset. That's who I want. But we intelligently look at the people that are vying for our votes, and we vote for who we believe. When I say we, I mean individually, of course, corporately. Who we believe will make our country 
the country in total be. We're still the giant in Africa by population, but we need to be giant of Africa in every area. And so we we'll want to vote in people that will take us there. Uh, Daddy, before we let you go, I think I'm privileged to take the last qu uh, question. Thank you. Um, you are in Yola, Namawa State. Yes. What message do you have for the people? The message I have for uh, the people, Yola, Adamawa, Northeast, and the rest of the country is that each of us should understand that the future before us is not determined by somebody we don't know or people or spirits we don't know. That if we link up with God, with his love, we can have, everyone can have a better future. And individuals as well as young people, our older people, who can have a glorious future determined by God and by the faith we have in Him. And this time that we are talking about the power that never fails. We bring our problems to God and whatever we have not been able to do or achieve, we have been having dreams but not realization. Now is our time to hook in and link up for the power that never fails. Daddy, uh as usual, we want to appeal to you to pray for journalists briefly before we go. They are already blessed. Amen. Amen. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this time together. Thank you for uh, the journalists, the men, the women, the people you are using to enlighten us in our communities as well as in our state and nation. We pray that your blessings will be upon them. Amen. As they go through their duties everywhere, we're asking, Lord, that you preserve them and help them to be on focus. Amen. News can be this way positive or that way negative. Help us, Lord, that they would have the right mindset to Amen. say the right thing the right time that will lead the country, the people who read in the right direction. Bless them, bless their families, and use them to bless our nation at large. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.